In this video, I show you how to move Steam games to another hard drive. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And please do watch the video right until the end of so the full steps. And let's go and get straight into this. The first step is to go and open up Steam. And then you want to come to the top left. We've got these five options here. And all you want to do is go and click on Steam, just like so. And you want to go down to settings just here. Then once you go and click on settings, we're going to go and get this settings page. And what you want to do is come on this left hand side and go and look for downloads. Then you want to go and click on downloads and here we are. The only you want to do is come to the content libraries and go and click on steam library folders. This is going to go and show you where all the steam library folders are and what they look like. So you can click on it just like so. So as you can see, it's going to go and show us our folders we have. So at the minute I've got one on my local drive and then on my new volume, my D drive, um, which has got Euro truck simulator and goat simulator but I want to go and move these to my other hard drive. So the first thing you need to go and do is come up to this top plus button and go and click on this plus. And as you can see, we can now go and add a new Steam library folder. So go and click on this drop down menu and here are the other drives we've got available. So as you could see, I could go and click on let me choose another location and then you can go and click on add and then what it's gonna go and do is it's gonna go and give us this option to go and create or select a new Steam library folder. So all I'm gonna go and do is just go and click on this top bar here, this drip down menu, and it's gonna go and give us a few other options. So as you can see, I've got my D, E and F drive. I'm personally gonna go and use my E drive. And then once you've chosen the drive, you then need to make sure you've got a Steam library folder here for all the games and information to be stored. If you can't go and see this Steam library folder, all you want to do is go and click on new folder, and then you can go and create a new one called Steam library, really easy. And then you want to go and click on it, and then go and click on select. Then as you can see, it's now added it to this top row here. So now you want to go and find the game you want to go and move. So in this case, I'm in new volume and I want to go and move Goat Simulator. So I'm going to go and click on this and go and tick it just like so. And then all you need to do is come to the bottom right where it says move. And as you can see, it's now going to go and say select the target drive. So I'm now going to go and choose my E drive and then I'm going to go and click on move. And as you can see, it's now moving the content for Goat Simulator. The time it takes will vary a little bit depending on the size of the game. I think this is only around two and a half gigabytes. So it's quite small um, in compared to other games. And then once it's been moved, it's going to go and say all content moves successfully. And as you can see, it's no longer on this drive here. And when I go and click on the new volume, there it is. And it's all ready to be played. If you found this video useful and you've now moved your Steam games over, please go down below and consider leaving a like, subscribe for more. Peace.